He has trailblazed while keeping us laughing, and now alongside his daughter, he's bringing us lessons on love and moving beyond family drama. I had the privilege of sitting down with legendary comedian George Lopez to discuss his show, Lopez vs. Lopez, and a new book. So let's talk about your new show, yeah. Lopez vs. Lopez. Um, I, I think the, the background is very interesting because you reconnected with your daughter yes. after not communicating for a certain amount of time. Let's start there. Tell us, <laughs> how, I know, let's go way back. Let's start, let's start there, there and, and, and what happened? Why was there that separation? Well, you know, I got divorced and, um, you know, I, it's very unusual for a person to be divorced and really say I was responsible for this amount of pain. So. You know, it's better to say things and to resolve things while you can, regardless of how difficult they are for somebody to step forward and say, yeah, that, I, that's me. And mm -hmm. I think that Mayan is the only, aside from family member that I speak to, but I've never uh, loved anything more. And I've never wanted to redeem myself to anybody more than I want to to her. So, you know, I, if I ever love anybody in a relationship for the rest of my life, it is inconsequential to the one love that I think is the most important love for me, and that's her. And you guys have made so many strides already. It still makes, <laughs> think, it still makes you emotional. You know, I think so. I think it should. You know, it's like you, you don't ever want it to just say something that's really meaningful and not have any emotion for it. Tell us about reconnecting with your daughter. I hear it involves some twerking, which oh, well, <laughs> I wouldn't have thought initially that that... You don't really that... think upside down twerking <laughs> will resolve anything. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, um, TikTok became the place where you would show yourself in a minute that you had issues, you know, good or bad. So I think there was duets where you can almost call somebody out that you've never met before on Twitter that, or on TikTok that calls you out or calls out your family or called me out. And Mayan saw that, but they were really calling out her mom and our relationship. So Mayan decided to remind that guy how much money she got in the divorce and that you're messing with my mom and you're messing with my family and I'm gonna show you by twerking upside down and going viral. Mine's working upside down and now we have, we're on a network show resolving our issues. But I think what, what is resonating with this show is that people who are younger um, and their issues, whether it's anxiety, whether it's their sexuality, and making it humorous, but also not minimizing it, is resonating with, with a younger generation. How was that for you and your daughter to be so vulnerable and mend this relationship in such a public way it may be the most difficult uh, process of, of, of anything that I've done in my life. I mean, stand-up came easy to me once I understood not to be afraid. You know, a lot of times in this business, you give up your soul and your heart for success. But I wouldn't have done this if she wasn't happy 100%. And I don't think she would have done it if it wasn't dealt with her emotionally first and then where can the show go, so. Let's talk about your book. You've also, you've been busy. <laughs> so yeah. this new book, tell, yeah. tell us about it. It's for middle school age kids, which I'm excited about because I have a middle schooler and I'm always trying to introduce the culture to him, especially, yeah. you know, being in a not so Latino environment most of the yeah, time. Of but I'm excited about this. So I went to a Day of the Dead party at uh, the woman who played my mother's uh, on my first show's house and there were these mylar balloons that were sugar skulls. And this balloon was over there kind of turned and I had never seen a sugar skull balloon and I, we're there and we take a picture in front of it and when I saw the picture, the balloon had turned so that the face was aiming toward the camera. And I knew that that wasn't the situation when I got in front of the balloon. Hmm. And I thought, that's interesting, you know. I thought maybe the a piñata could be haunted and rewards people for being good and not bad, and it sees. And I think the haunted piñata aspect of it is just a piñata that has been around before, and it can tell when people are honest and it can tell when people are dishonest or when they love or not love. You've been in this business for such a long time. Come, <laughs> if you could, and we were talking a little bit about this earlier, just being Latino in this yeah. business, in any industry, 
How is it now compared to when you started? Oh, I mean, I, I can tell you, like, seeing your name out there 20 years ago gave me the idea that, hey, I don't have to change my name, even right. though my last name, even though some folks were telling me you might want to get right. away from Ramos. So right. how is it now for you as a Latino in this industry? So I would say for us uh, as a group of people, uh, you know, that it's much, much better, really incredible, that I can sit across from you and, and see things that I can see now that I couldn't see uh, 20 years ago, but also that we shouldn't uh, hyphenate ourselves or look at ourselves as less than because of the way we spell our names or the way that we that we talk. And no one should ever feel af ashamed to speak or afraid to write your name or afraid to be who we are. You've got the show, you've got the book. What's what's coming up next? I'm in the DC universe. I'm in, I'm in uh, the Blue Beetle that DC first Latino superhero, and you know I would, I would tell people that you know Batman, Superman can fly, Batman utility belt, Spider Man has uh, uh, webs, and you can throw fire and you can breathe underwater. But a true Latino superhero can start out in the 40s as a white man and end up in 2023 as a Latino kid. That's that's a superpower. That's big. They created this issue. This created this area for this kid, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, great. thank you for everything that you do. Oh, well, you're it's, very welcome. It's an honor to meet you, you, and I will continue to watch your stuff Wonderful and to sit down introduce with you. my kids to your, to your new book. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> thank it. Thank you, you so much. Such a wonderful conversation. Looking forward to his new show, his new book, and his continued success. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.